G'day guys, welcome back to another vlog, vlog number two. Today, it's uh, it's Saturday. Saturday time is... Uh, oh, it's just past six o'clock, so a little bit of a sleep in. Um, and we've got two morning classes at F45 today, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to do some deadlifts today at the home gym. Yeah, let's get ready, chuck the shoes on. Fit check. Look at that. Oh, mate, the arms are looking, the arms are looking pretty fucking juicy. Oh, well, we've got the, what is this? Deer shorts. Look at those Asics, baby. Bah! Boom! Let's go get this coffee. Oh. Hey, yo. All right, I'm going to go, pups, but I'll be back. Coffee secured. Got the large own latte on deck. Absolutely filthy. Normally, at my where my establishment is, there's a lot of sketchy shit that goes on around here. Like, look, I'll, look, I'll show you this. Look. So it looks as though I'm not a detective or anything, but it looks like old mate was sitting on the chair, absolutely guzzling down a freaking a long neck gear. Don't but yeah, mate, that's just some weird shit that goes on here. Anyway, we're gonna get up, we're gonna set up, check the room, and then uh, check back in. Right, so the last guy didn't lock the front door, which is a bit of a worry. But anyway, um, this is the setup we've got uh, for our, for our uh, clients this morning. These absolute killers, mate. These ski ergs, I'm telling you, mate. Killers, mate. But I reckon the worst one of all are these. I've got some strong fingies to pull that back. Yeah, so I've got another trainer with me on this morning, which is good. Hopefully it's busy. It should be busy because it is a Saturday morning and a lot of people would have things on on Saturday, especially work. No work on Saturdays. See you in a bit. Both classes in the books, all done and dusted. Um, pretty big turnout today. We had seven for the first class and then we had 10 for the last one. So pretty good turnout for the weekend. Uh, everything's all packed up, ready for the next class on Sunday. And I'll see you guys back at home. Definitely not that mood. I'm not in that mood right now. Alright, so I forgot I had eggs. I don't have any eggs at the house, so that was a bit of a rip. So now I'm at the supermarket and I'm just gonna go get some eggs and some other stuff for lunch. These look good. Where are the big boy eggs? There we go. That tight chicken coat looks all right. We'll grab that one for lunch as well. Bag secured. Back from the supermarket, and here is the breakfast situation. So we've got a bowl of oats, a handful of frozen raspberries and blueberries. Uh, we've got a couple of slices of banana, six slices of banana, a teaspoon of peanut butter, and some cinnamon and honey. That slaps. And then we've got Four eggs scrambled with some spinach and tomatoes, mushrooms, and, and yeah, that's about it. And I've got a little bit of chutney there too. So, well, I'm trying to gain. I'm trying to gain. I'm trying to gain some weight. I'm a hard gainer. I swear to God. I ate a slab of lasagna last night. A whole slab to myself with a little bit of salad. I had a little bit of salad, but a whole slab to myself, and I was farting nonstop last night. Like I was just. I was almost Dutch ovening myself last night. Like it was kind of grim, but yeah, I just I'm just burning. I'm, my my metabolism my metabolism right now because I am eating a lot. I have increased my, a lot of my eating. Yeah, I mean I have noticed as well. I've, I've never hopped on the scales or anything, but I can just tell I have uh, 
you know, I'm filling in my frame a little bit, so. Anyways, enough talking, we're gonna get stuck into this grub. Some Cal Callum Von Mo Monger. Callum Von Mon Monger on YouTube, check him out. Um, he's going through a rough patch at the moment. He, he got involved in, with some drugs and stuff, but before he was like, he was an absolute freaking unit. So, watching him for a little bit of inspo before my uh, my uh, back and back and hamstring workout. So, there we go. Brecky done in the books. So I'm gonna let this sit for about two hours. So we'll get our workout in in about at about one o'clock, one one thirty, and just we'll let that sit, let that do its thing. <gasps> All right, we're gonna hit uh, do some editing right now. So I'll see you guys at the computer. All right. G'day champs. Um, just finished making a new video. Kind of just made it on the spot. It's kind of crazy. Found this new gym in a, actually you know what, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna let you guys find out for yourselves. All right, it's an absolute banger. Uh, just finished recording it and I'm just gonna finish this coffee. A Little bit of pre-workout, just a little bit of espresso. Do a little bit more editing and then uh, I'll see you guys down the gym. All right. All right guys, we are finally in the game. AKA we're in the home gym today. First thing on the menu is gonna be some deconstructed back and hammies. So, so we're gonna start off with some deadlifts. After we'll follow that with some squats with high volume to about 10 to 12 rep range. And then we'll finish up with some hamstring curls on the TRX because I would usually finish up on the uh, hamstring curl machine. But because we're in the home gym, we got no machines. So we're gonna think on our feet a little bit. We're gonna use the TRX right there. Get some warm up sets in, see how we're feeling. Um, and yeah, let's get at it, champs. Come on. This used to be my ringtone when I was like 15 years old. Still a banger, it's a banger song, but I just remember so vividly having this as my ringtone, I thought I was the coolest kid ever. <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit of weight on. Um, I'm probably gonna keep it about four to six reps here. Get some blood, blood in the muscles. Shh. Just so I can just get some blood in the muscles and getting the joints nice and limbered up. I just, it's just a little variation I just add, just so I can get a little bit of uh, like a, promote a bit more blood flow into my lower back, so then that way I just feel a bit more warmed up when I'm hopping into the sets. But now, um, I'm gonna drop the reps down to about one to two, I'll probably do two reps here, and then on the next set, I'll, uh, I'll only do one, because now we're just gonna just focus on power. And Eddie Hall, I was watching a video on Eddie Hall, and he was explaining how with lifts, especially in the strongman events, it's all about how do you get from how do you get from point A to point B the fastest, right? So with the deadlift, you just want to go from point A to point B. So straight from the floor up to bringing that bar below your hips, which is point B. You don't want to go from point point A to point B to point C, right? You just want to just you want to have the most efficient bar path as possible, essentially. So keep that in mind. And we want to keep we want to keep some reps in the tank, all right? Heaps of times I see people with their warm ups, they're always doing like six to eight to twelve to ten reps, you know, on their warm ups. You're already pre fatiguing the muscle before you even doing your working sets. So just keep two to three reps in the tank, and then leave it all out on the working sets. Let's get it. Full 
will say, I haven't really listened to this album of Kendrick's, but N9, N95, it isn't on your playlist yet. I don't have that shit, man. It gets the people going. <laughs> I mean, this is the real work out. Getting all the plates out, rearranging them, changing them. That's the real work out. All right, so now after this, uh, we've got about 20, 40, 60. We've got 100 kegs on the bar here. We'll go down to one rep now. And uh, we'll now emphasize like a two minute break in between. So that way I can kind of Save myself a little bit. Let's pull some pull some heavy shit now. We got 120 kegs for about three sets. Three sets with 35 reps. If needed, I've got my I've got my belt here. I want to try and do at least two sets without the without the belt, and then add the belt at the end if my if I feel like my um, if I feel like I'm getting a little bit too fatigued. But we should be right. Straight back to the over and under. I was thinking about it, it said. I was holding up to that bar with my dear life. <laughs> Shit. Key thing when you're going pretty heavy with deadlifts, if you're doing like three or more reps, you really gotta make sure that back is staying straight. The last thing you wanna do is your back is kind of rounding at the top, at the bottom half of the lift. So it's important to just keep that straight back throughout that whole lift, like you just got to, or else, like that's that's where shit hits the fan, that's where you fucking injure yourself, so. We're trying to get five here. The belt helped out a lot. Daddy's done. That's a new, that's a new uh, PB actually, so not too bad. All right, now we're gonna do some squats. Plate assisted, so meaning my heels are gonna be elevated. And we're just gonna fucking blow up the legs. Hypertrophy work, 10 to 12. Stay in that high rep range. My phone was that close to getting squashed by plates.
you're going to see how I'm squatting, how I'm trying to keep my chest still nice and upright. I'm not trying to let my upper body dip. You want to almost imagine like a piston, just going straight up and down. Um, I've got the plates out just so I can get a bit more range of motion. Do a two second pause at the bottom and then coming straight back up. But on the way down, we're doing four seconds on the way down. So really we're just focusing on the stretch on the quads and also bonus with the plates as well by elevating your heels, you uh, add a bit more emphasis onto the, to your quads rather than your lower back. It's a very much, a co it's a heavy compound movement, meaning there's a lot of muscle groups uh, working together doing the movement. So by having the, having your heels elevated with the plates, takes load off all the other muscle groups and adds more load onto the quads. Alright, but that's the end of the workout. It's a wrap. Absolute wrap. So we're gonna cook up to that Thai chi green chicken curry. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Alright champs, time to give the verdict on this chicken curry. Doesn't look too bad to be honest. Not bad. Not bad at all. Give it a 7 out of 10. I'm surprised the rush is not mush. Don't know what kind of sciencey shit you've done with this, but keep doing it, Muscle Kitchen. Hopefully you enjoyed that little back and hamstring work. Other than that, guys, peace out. Love ya. See you in the next one.